Hey guys, uh, it's Andrew McCarthy from Boondockers. You may remember, maybe you don't, it's the reason we're doing this today, but we wrote a tribute that uh, we posted on the on the Boondockers site a while ago, and uh, it's it's been a, on a number of occasions now. Jonathan Palsy was the first one to point out that perhaps we should be doing some narrations. And uh, with the encouragement of Dan Gardner from last night, uh, we've actually, we were, we were planning on doing this, and when we were speaking to our good buddy Brian Churchill about firing up the KX500, the 04 KX500, we said, what a better opportunity than to do this narration and shoot some cool footage. So, for those of you that have read it and may remember it, it was called Buddy Boy, spelled B-U-O-Y. A boy, of course, being in Newfoundland, it's a nautical reference. A boy is a float. And, uh, of course, the play on words here, uh, this is about riding buddies. A lone wolf is a rarity in the world of off-road motorsports. Nearly everyone rides with a partner. And depending on the terrain choice, it may take several good friends to stay the course. Though most backcountry mishaps are relatively minor and be quick, can be quickly remedied with an extra set of hands, when you find yourself alone in the wilderness, even a flat tire can escalate into a dire predicament. Off-road adventures are mostly enjoyed in remote locations where we recover a lot of rough ground, see few people, and encounter many changing obstacles. If you fall in the horse, forest, you'd best hope there's at least one person to hear. Stabilize the situation, find help, and of course, provide a story for all to enjoy. While safety should always be our primary concern, a riding buddy not only increases our likelihood of getting home, but just as importantly, our willingness to get out in the first place. Our cohorts keep the dream alive with their incessant discussions about future trips, reminiscing over past adventures, and an ever-growing bucket list filled with mad escapades. They are often abreast of industry developments and are the first to share information about new trails, equipment, and accessories. A good pal can bring valuable mechanical skills and a willingness to turn a wrench while servicing, repairing, or modifying your ride. A buddy might offer tips and observations on your riding technique. Hopefully, they'll talk you out of any dangerous stunts or maneuvers that exceed your riding ability. And at the same time, provide reassurance in situations that are nowhere near as daunting as they might first appear. They are your loudest cheerleader, for as Dan Gardner likes to remind us, if they aren't the best rider in the world, it's only because they believe their best friend holds that title. There's no doubt that a good mate is critical to your riding experience, and as discovered this year, they can also be the driving force and influencer for a proper comeback. Despite all the rehab, weight loss, core strengthening, and cardio improvements, there was still an element of apprehension that kept us from grounded following a crippling snowmobile accident a few years ago. The fear of taking a smack and compounding those injuries left us paralyzed. In fact, we'd officially retired from all motorsports until several friends inadvertently colluded to provide the help we needed to get back in the saddle. Thus, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank a few of our Boondocker teammates for their time, care, and consideration. The first shout out goes to Dustin Pancheri for maintaining our climb sponsorship throughout this hiatus, recognizing that our passion for riding had not wavered and it was only a matter of time till we sought out new material for our pros. Next came Shane Canaston, who joined us at the Salt Lake City Snow Show last fall, limping his way through the entire exhibit hall, talking passionately about the ride he planned for the next day and the pain he was willing to endure in the name of sport. There are certain things we've just got to live with, Andrew. What an inspiration. Eric Mercer makes our third spot when we happened upon his crowd at the start of a snowmobile ride from the Rugged Edge Shop in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. 
We'd already abandoned an early season run with Craig Borden and had no intention of joining this crew until Eric approached, stating, Man, last time I saw you was on a boondocker shoot in Rope Cove Canyon, and you were sporting a cast and crutches. Wow, man, when did I become such a wiener? That proved to be our official comeback run, and though we felt it later that evening, Shane was right, and all was well the next day. Finally, we owe a huge round of thanks to Brian Brizzy Churchill for the extreme measures he undertook so that we might ride bike this summer. Brizzy picked up the old 450 in late spring, stealing it away to a secret location where he could provide a proper service and a comfortable riding environment away from the prying eyes of my poor father. Briz kept our initial ride short, stopping often to talk through approaching obstacles, describing the best line of attack and important escape routes. He climbed down to bring the bike through some of the more tangly trails and always maintained a stoic element of patience that kept us going day after day. Thankfully, a boondocker doesn't worry about fair weather friends, for we've based our entire relationship on foul weather and a willingness to weather the weather, no matter the weather, whether we want to or not. Sweat your brains out, boys. This is to riding buddies everywhere. And speaking of riding buddies, let's get this KX fired up, Riz. This is a 2004 KX 500. I keep saying want to say 450. <laughs> oh. Oh, he suffered. Oh, Briz. Best kind of riding buddies. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>